Uh, what's up guys? Uh, we're going to talk about mayhem for the next couple of minutes. Um, I'll let you know before I continue, I'll let you know that it's okay to have the emulator but not the ROMs. If you do have the ROM images, uh, once you play it, I recommend deleting it because it is indeed illegal. Now we've finished that, uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so right now I'm using the Windows 7 64-bit build because I definitely love the system. Uh, as you can see here, I'm actually under the 800 times 600 resolution so that way you can see the screen a lot better. Any higher, you might as well be wearing glasses 100 times. So this is some of the folders here um, that come with me. Uh, if, even though some don't appear, as soon as you click on the execute up file, which is right here, and by the way, I am using the MAM UI FX3 to build. There are other builds out there. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I will use this. And of course, you got the files here. They don't come with the main build, but you have to go to other uh, third party website. Uh, Pugsys is good, and a couple others. So, a simple Google search will give you that. Well, I'll talk about this a little later. And then you get the video snap. You can actually direct what files you want. For example, if I want to take a snapshot of a, guy, of a game I'm playing, it will go to the snap file. So, of course, I got one for Lucky Wild, but anyway. So, let's go to the heart of the matter. So, I'm going to open this up. Anyway, it's already been opened up. So, I'm just going to go down to my desktop and voila. So, this is the uh, what shows up. Just for again demonstration purposes, I bring up the video that I played for, actually played the past couple of years. It's called Zane Selena. Uh, one, one of my favorites here. I used to play in the arcades. I actually cleared it in the arcades. Uh, before we touch, let me show you what's on this side here. Um, this particular build has these particular options. Uh, other builds have different options. For example, if you want to play uh, Neo Geo, uh, not only you need a specific file to play it, but you also show all the particular games that Neo Geo is. Uh, just like Samurai Showdown and such. So I'm getting a lot of course here. So if you want to show all games, you click on this. If you want to show what's available, you can play. Uh, it will go on this. It will show green. It will play it. Yellow means there's some disrupt sheets with it. Oh, sorry, I should say a different word. Uh, there may be problems with the video or the audio. Red means it's unplayable or there's a major problem with it. Or if you want to search games by manufacturer like Konami, Capcom, and other third parties you probably never heard before. And there's the light guns and the clones and there's the vertical horizontal games that you play. Uh, but enough about that. Uh, so I'm going, to, I'm going to see a show some options here. Uh, you can play and record it, and this IND playback. That means the input, which means that if you're playing a game and it goes by input, it will record how long you're holding the button, how long you're holding the left or the right hand side. And speaking of buttons, I'm using a PlayStation 3 gamepad, and it's called the Afterglow. And with that particular pad, which is uh, quite fitting for playing MAM, uh, or MAM in this case uh, 0.175, I'm also using the emulator with the particular uh, gamepad, and, and that's uh, pretty called DS3. You can look it up uh, inside Google here. And plus Windows recognizes, so that's a big dodge for me, just in case the game I'm playing does not recognize the gamepad. So I'm going to show you here is the directories. Before you even play a game here, you have to point out where the ROMs are located on your computer. And if you do, you either click, click on Browse or Insert, make sure this ROMs is shown here. And you go pretty much to really where it is located on your computer here. And once you finish locating it, you click OK. And you see here, that's not where my ROMs are located. So what you do is click on Delete. And there are options here as well besides ROMs. Uh, now you don't have to do all of them for it. Uh, if you got any CHD files, which are really big disk images, you go click on here and it will show where they're located, among other things here. This is something you have to work on your own. Just remember where they are located on the computer, otherwise you have one big mess on it. So I'm going to click on Cancel. That's all I'm going to show you about that. And there's also the default game options. So this is pretty much for all the game options. This is for all the games that are on that you wish to play. So if you click on display here, I have it set on run in the window. When you first apply, 
uh, run this computer. Oh, sorry, run this game. My apologies. This is unchecked. So I have this checked on because I want to see the background, what's going on, especially the, my clock on my computer. And I start from maximize and it's for its aspect ratio. So that should pretty much be left alone. Everything else is fine here by default. So triple buffer link, you leave it alone. If you got two screens or two monitors you wish to play it, I uh, switch to two. I don't have two right now or I don't have two configured, so I'll just pretty much leave that alone. And all the rest of the options are okay. You don't have to worry about the sample rate isn't the highest, forty eight thousand. You can lower if you wish. I'm not, I'm not sure why. If you got a power computer, sure. Now this is the part here. If you're using a game that you need, let's say a light gun or, or something that you need to move the cursor around on your screen here, you will enable you enable this enable mouse input and you can figure inside the game. But this particular game I'm going to show you does not need it, so I'll just leave that alone. And the enable joystick input is actually pretty good. So I'll leave that on sorry, I leave that checked. And just map it to auto. If you have different configuration for your joystick, if you like, what I mean is if you're using a different joystick, like an arcade joystick, then you may need the tool to figure, figure this. And same as this. Now, miscellaneous, don't think you have to worry about If you have trouble with a game here, you go enable cheats, but you must have the file uh, cheat um, on the directory. And it has to be in the root directory where your MAM is. And. And I'll show you in a minute here why. So I'll have this checked as default for all games. And this miscellaneous, you don't have to worry about that. And you don't have to worry about this. This is a view mode if you wish to record here. But anyway, let's get out here. So right now, uh, there's not much else. Uh, see, custom filters. See pretty much you can, uh, uh, you don't have to worry about all this. This is just a general review here. I'm not going to get too complicated. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to change the screen layout, you can make the larger icons on here. Or you want to sort the games by run the description here. Again, this is something you can fool around at your leisure. But for now, let's try Xena Xena Japan. Not much, I don't think there's much differences. You can see here, it, uh, this is the layout of the game itself. The speakers it uses, CPU, this is the motherboard, and this is the video layout. Let's first start a game, Zing Selenia. Now, before I continue, I did mention about specific game inputs. So I'm going to hit P for pause and the hit tab on my keyboard here. And then you get this nice little screen here that you're probably going to use for all your games. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit on input this machine. Actually, I'm going to hit input general. So I'm going to hit on user interface. Now this is actually a very nice screen here. This is actually pretty good. Uh, if you don't want P for pause, you can press either your joystick or anywhere your keyboard. Uh, so if I say, uh, let's say I want, so hit there and I'll hit P. It could be any other uh, key your keyboard. You can actually show you uh, FPS. You can fast forward. Uh, pretty, pretty good if you find some scenes incredibly boring. You can also do a record. It's kind of eh. Ish, and you get your eyes, head play, and so on and so forth. Zoom in, zoom out, rotate. You're not going to use all this. You have to remember, though, this is this is by default. This is for all your games. So I'm going to escape out of here, and you, you don't have to worry. Controls again. Don't worry about it. You're not going to uh, use ten players to play this game here. So what we're going to do is we'll input this machine. So. I already can figure this. So it's up or joy up. That is the button on my gamepad here. Right now I am using the gamepad to go up and down. Now by default here, if you hit P1 button one, it, may, it might say like a button on your keyboard or a button on your gamepad or your gun button here. If you want to change it, just hit enter on your keyboard here. Then hit this desire button, either it be your keyboard or your gamepad. But I want to play this game on my gamepad. So I'm going to hit this button here. Voila. Or if you want player two to come in here, just configure the way it is. And this is the coin usage. Make sure you don't see that. <laughs> and you get the dip switches, of course, this is for all games. So right now it's set to easy or, or, or hard. Everybody knows here, this is the hard switches. So if you actually have the hardware for this particular game, the switch will go up or the switch will go down. 
So you can set their lives, coin A, coin B. And say you want to play uh, one coin equals three games, or you want to play 50 cents. I don't know why you want to play this game 50 cents back at the time here. And it demos and so forth. And we're not going to allow it to continue because it's, we want to make this game incredibly hard. But in any case, let's get out of here. And let's just put good information here. You don't have to worry about this. But the slider controls is probably a lot of people who play this particular emulator don't know exactly what this is. This actually controls the volume. Uh, what, and what I mean by that, you can put the music on this game full blast and have no sound effects. And so this is what the slider is for. But as to what, what slider does which, this is something you have to fool around yourself. And the, all the options are fine. So I much uh, increase the contrast, but yeah, let's see. And it goes to see see the game going really dark. Yeah, so basically full at your leisure. And if you want to go back to by default, just uh, make sure the ball is right at the middle there. Oops. Ah, that's fine. All right, let's get out here. Video options. You don't have to worry about that. And let's. See. And of course, there's the cheat. This is what technically be for if you have trouble uh, playing a certain game. This is where you go to. Some options are a little bit different, and some may caution you if you turn this on, make sure you turn it off at a certain point. And rapid fire is always good in games because you don't want to wear it down your gamepad, but anyway, so come see, come saw. You also got to enter the sound test, which I might say it's actually quite useful because a lot of uh, uh, sounds and music inside arcade games at that point or this point is actually quite good. So you don't have plug-in options. So let's get out here. I'm just going to show you a brief uh, what this game is about. So let's get some coin. And apparently, that came for other people has to be you. Uh, I always play the water level. If you haven't seen this video that I made, there's a reason why. Later on. And if you don't like the button layout, you can always press pause and just change it. Oh, damn it. So that's just a brief on the game and what it's about. So that's how I pretty much is to it about this particular emulator. It's actually one of the oldest emulators out there, and it's actually still viable because it's still a lot of arcade games. Not actually arcade games uh, of the shooting variety, but there's also you know uh, games that are available. What I means there's the slots and there's a lot of pretty much Japanese games out there that hasn't been fixed. But that's, that's actually it's actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's how pretty much do it. Like little make a main poster there, so you can actually fool around here. But I don't have anything there that actually makes it different. But it does. Uh, it, it makes the uh, little uh, program more interesting here. Yeah, so that's how much to it. This is just a normal, general of how of what the MAM is and how it works. So that's all there is to it. Uh, it's pretty much a long video, which I really didn't want. Uh, I do sorry about the sound because I'm pretty much speaking through my headset right now. So uh, uh, definitely take a shot and see how it goes. Um, thank you for watching.